three, two, two, one. one. Got a blast. What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody feeling in today my people? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I got a very special player build for you all today. So today I'm going to be showing you all how to make PD Maverich build alright. So listen, legend, 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 legend. This man is a legend. That's all I can really say. To be honest I didn't grow up watching him. Um, I heard a lot about him, you know, as I, as I was, you know, getting into basketball throughout the years, and people was telling me, you know, he's one of the best players. He can shoot, he can dribble, uh, you know, he can play defense. But his shooting is what everybody talks about. So first things first, we're gonna get right into the build. So as you can see, right, this is from the old time Utah Jazz, and you can see PD the 96 driving layup. We already know how powerful and insane the, the layups are this year. You can go crazy with just doing floaters for the entire game, you know. So having a 96, you get a lot of amazing badges. You get a lot of Hall of Fame badges that um, gives you by going 96. We go down a 48 driving dunk. We don't really need driving dunks. Like if we're gonna only have a 48, then we might as well just not even have a driving dunk because this is all we need. The layups is so much better that it's probably ever been in an actual video game where you can choose to have both or you can choose to just have a layup or dunk. It's really up to you this year. And that's what I think is amazing about uh, 2K24. So close shot, 91. We all know that 91 close shot is amazing. To be honest, I don't really think you really need a high close shot unless you are a big man. But if you are a shooting guard, then having a high uh, close shot definitely benefits your game because now it gives you another option for you to, to be able to score. So people's gonna have to, you know, guard you close range now, you know? So that's also cool, but I always try to at least go 71 just so I can get fast twitch on bronze or at least 81, which gives you fast twitch on silver. Now, the shooting is what I spoke about earlier. This is definitely his game. So look, you see right here, 95 on a mid-range shot, 95 on a three-point shot, insane. You get so much amazing Hall of Fame and gold badges when you go 95 midi and 95 three-point shot. Free throw is at an 87, which is amazing. So you can take this build to the wreck. Um, you, you honestly can take any build to the wreck, even if you don't have free throws, you, you can still cook up. Um, but it's always good to have at least, in my opinion, at least a 71 free throw for any build that you make just so you can have the uh free points on bronze at least right so that's amazing and to be honest all you would need is 81 to get free points so going 87 it doesn't really make sense you can save on attributes post control out of 55 so he could play in the post a little bit not bad at all now we go to the playmaking 84 pass accuracy 95 uh, ball handle with a speed with ball of an 89 insane my people absolutely insane a lot of times with these all-time plays it's kind of difficult to even get what you would like because 2k is not going to let you make a lot of these builds that's in the 90s you know what i mean in terms of the attributes so you gotta kind of gotta figure out what you can get more of or a little bit of everything somehow now the defense so 44 interior the perimeter is an 84 still is at a 66 most likely i would just go 60 just so i can at least get intercept on bronze uh the block you no know, you're not on for shot block but then he has some decent rebounding so most you know players don't even have any rebound and they have like a 25 so 55 offensive 59 defensive is actually pretty good just to see it now the speed the speed is amazing 88 acceleration uh 88 speed a 40 nine on the strength but he also has an 80 vert with a 98 stamina all right so without further ado we're just gonna go right into the my player builder and create the one and only pd maravich all right my people so we in the my player builder as you can see pd maravich right hand jersey number seven i'm gonna be honest i don't really know if he's right handed or left handed but y'all can comment down below and let me know all right so first things first this build is a shooting guard so you want to go to the shooting guard position you want to stay 6'5 and the weight you want to go 197 
and then you want to drop the wingspan to 6'8 because that's what his wingspan was now to creating this build first things first is you want to go to an 81 i decided to go 81 instead of in the 90s on a close shot because by going 81 you get fast twitch on silver and i felt like that was a good amount just to have that wasn't you know too much and i think it was just like the sweet spot now layup i decided to go 91. he had a 97 or 95 but i felt 91 was cool because just by going any higher the only thing that you get if you go 94 is bunny but I, I believe gold bunny is just enough but i wanted to definitely get that slithery at least on gold since you're gonna only have layup and no dunk on this it makes sense to at least be able to get as much as you possibly can when it comes to this build at first i wasn't gonna add any post control but then when i was making this build i wasn't getting shades up so i was like you know what let me just add a little post control so i went 53 here I could have stopped at 50, but I just went 53. Then for the shooting, I went 92 mid-range shot. So my people, this year, right? I went 92 because I wanted Mini Magician on Hall of Fame. By going with a high midi, like it's so crazy because you can make a uh, incredible build that has like a maybe like a 76, 75 three-point shot and a high mid-range and cook up. You can also do this with the finishing. No driving dunk, but you can cook up with a driving layup. I mean, this game is very versatile in what you can do. Uh, so 92, by going 92, we get the Mini Magician. I decided 92 was perfect. You see all the Hall of Fame and gold badges that we will also be able to get once we, you know, upgrade our player. Now, when it comes to the three-point shot, I decided to go 92. 92 just because I wanted to at least have limitless range on silver and also you get claymore as you can see at the top i mean at the right right here claymore is also on hall of fame so 92 midi 92 three-point shot when it comes to a pd build i feel like you have to have your mid-range and your three-point shot in the uh, 90s just so you can definitely be able to shoot like him and also have some type of a high shooting attribute like what he had he had 95 for the three and uh, mid-range i just went 92 i feel like that's a sweet spot now for the free throw he had a what 87 i just went 81 only reason why i went 81 instead of 80 is because this is where i had to put the attributes so i could hit 90 so i just went 81 on the free throw pass accuracy i went with his exact pass accuracy amount which was 84 84 gives you needed threader and you also get a lot of other nice um silver and as you can see gold badge which is special delivery i believe bailout on bronze is very important but this is not really uh known it's not going to really be a playmaker even though you you have pass accuracy you, you want to score with this builder right scoring is, is what you should be focused on now the ball handling i decided to only go with an 84 yes he had 90 plus but i just went 85 and then i went 77 on the speed with ball a 75 definitely unlocks a lot of uh, good dribble packages as well so you'll be perfectly fine with that i didn't put interior defense on i just went 76 on the perimeter defense i went 76 because i wanted to get all of the defensive brad uh badges at least on bronze by going 76 you get 94 feet and then we'll, as soon as we put stem i mean the uh, strength in we'll definitely be able to have the clamps on bronze at least still i just want 60. he had a 60 something i think like a 65 or 66. i just went with a 60 just so i could get interceptor on bronze and then i went 55 on the offensive rebound because he had some rebounding and then I went fifth, no 60 actually, 60 on a defensive rebound that gives you rebound chaser on bronze. So that's gonna be pretty cool to have rebound chaser on a shooting guard build, that's not bad. Now 81 of course, because we want speed booster at least on silver, that's very important. 84 feet and workhorse on bronze. So I'm cool with that, I'm cool with that, all right? So solid build all around, very incredible in terms of the shooting and the finishing with the layup you're going to be able to cook up with this build all right so once you put the attributes in you get a sharp shooter that is a good uh name a lot of people doesn't have this obviously people are going to know that you're a sharp shooter when they see your stats they see that 92 midi 90 
to a three-point shot so it's going to make people have to definitely guard you but you're going to be able to dribble and then you got the layup so you'll be able to mess around and uh cook up all right so y'all let me know what i thought about this build and until next time much love